hands up. Guys, freaking on the good old FZ09. I got a new seat, Saddleman. Got it for a hundred bucks on Marketplace. Like a 600, actually I don't know how much it is. 600, 500, I don't know. We are heading up to my grandma's house. And uh, today's video while we ride, let's just discuss real quick. Should you buy the FZ or MT-09? Should you? You know, that's, that's the question, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm just going to point out a couple things, you know, if you're thinking about buying to help you decide. Man, the cops around here, though, have been not very, very nice lately. We've had a couple of them yell at us, Do you have plates? Do you have plates? All this crap. Let's see if this guy lights me up. Oh, look, there's another one over there. They're all over the damn place. First question is, if you want to buy one of these, ask yourself, ask yourself, um, do you like to have fun, man? Do you like to have fun? Because if you don't like to have fun, don't buy one of these, man. Basically, all you're going to be having is fun. The second question is... Like that feeling of low-end freaking grunt. Uh oh, someone calling me? Nope, never mind. Yeah, do you like that feeling of just you know just the instant instant torque, bro? Because if you do, this is the bike for you. This is the bike for you. Let's move on to question number three. You should ask yourself while we take this turn nice and slow. But I have realized I gotta speak up. And uh, when I talk, I probably shouldn't be hauling ass because you can't hear shit. So uh, question number three is, do you want to be comfortable while you ride? So I mean, this damn thing, pretty damn, it, it, it's pretty much as good as it's going to get for like a, you know, a nice, fun, fast bike like this. Pretty straight up and down. My ankles aren't into my ass. You know, I'm not reaching super far for the bars. I'm not leaning over a whole bunch. It doesn't hurt my wrists. You get a nice comfy seat on here. And actually, this saddleman that I put on here raised my butt up a little bit. So now, my feet are even less scrunched up. So it's even better. So it's a pretty dang comfortable bike. You know, the tank isn't up in your shit. Like, I'm just chilling. Just chilling. We're moving on to point number four, or question number four, I guess. I don't know. It is the price. I think these damn things, you can pick up, you can find them anywhere, and they're pretty dang cheap compared to other, other bikes, at least. I picked this one up. It's a 2016. It had 5,800 miles on it when I bought it for $5,900. I would say that's pretty dang good, and and you can find you can find them like that at least out here in Colorado, pretty much all day. And if you're willing to travel a little bit, like you know the areas where there there's not as many people looking to buy them, like New Mexico is around us here in Colorado. Super dang cheap bikes out there. It's for the price. I would say it's it's pretty hard to beat. miles an hour over and I'm barely going man like it's torture but it really is they chill all over right here and they're 
there's one way up and one way down so it's a little sketchy well while we're cruising up this hill I'm gonna say one reason why maybe you don't want to buy this bike and this could be just because of the way I ride but I think nakeds are generally known to get worse gas mileage that is the reason is this thing dude <laughs> I mean, I am flooring it constantly, you know, flying down the highway over 100 miles an hour. But it gets pretty bad gas mileage. I pretty much fill it up about every single time I ride it. Unless it's just like to the gym and back or something like that. Then yeah, it's pretty much about every single time I ride. But I don't really care. I mean, it's what, 10 bucks, 12, 15 maybe at the most to fill it up. I think of it like, uh, you know, you go spend like, like a hundred dollars or fifty dollars to go have fun at the lake or go dirt biking, something like that. You know, you're gonna spend money. It's like fifteen bucks to leave from my house, go out, have a shit ton of fun, and come back. I don't think that it's that big of a deal, but. If that is something you're looking for, like for whatever reason, then maybe you maybe just have a little bit of consideration that it gets bad gas mileage. That didn't make any sense. I'm trying to say that if you want good gas mileage, this thing doesn't get the best gas mileage. It's fun. Man, Colorado is hard to beat. Still, even in the middle of the summer, like, I don't know. They did, they did a bad job cleaning up the roads, but there's still, like, sand all over. It sucks, man. It gets a little uh, concerning. Like, you have to look every damn turn. Like, look at that. Look at that. You come around that and hit that. Ooh. That would be no good, man. What's up, buddy? What's up? How are you? this guy because I want to fly unless he's planning on flying I think he is man <laughs> sort of flying on of why you might not want to ride or buy the spike at least the fz not the mt i'm not sure about the mt i think they fixed the suspension and everything on that one but on the fz the suspension does come pretty plush from factory which is really no big deal you just have to you know maybe get some new springs or oil or whatever i got lucky and the people that had this one before me <coughs> already replaced the rear shock with I think a ZX6R or ZX6RR shock bolts right in. And uh, Kyle, ask Kyle. Message him on Instagram at Kyle Blast which uh, shock 
fits in this thing. And then, uh, I think they did something with the front fork too, because this thing, it feels pretty good. I have no complaints. But anyways, guys, it's getting dark, so I'm not going to ramble too much longer. More of just kind of a funny video, you know what I mean? But I am pointing out points to think about. Like, do you like to have fun? Because some people don't, you know? But, uh... I don't think there's really any reason to not buy this bike. Unless you're trying to do 200 miles an hour or 160 or something, but... Who do you really need to go be going that fast, man? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I would like to. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. Even just watching the video, I'm freaking stoked. So uh, like and subscribe for some more freaking videos. And we will see you next time.